now we have completed while loop and we have solved some problems also have you noticed Fibonacci series how I printed 1 1 2 3 like that have you noticed multiplication table how I, I printed 5 into 1 5 into 2 5 into 3 5 into 4 5 into 10 right well just to remember these two points why because that is little important now my requirement is I want to print 1 2 3 4 5 what I want to print 1 2 3 4 5 how do you print 1 2 3 4 5 here simple I'll write a is equal to 1 while a less than or equal to 5 print f percentile d comma a so this will print for me what 1 2 3 4 5 but I need to write a is equal to a plus 1 very important statement right if you don't write it goes into infinite now I want to come to new line I came to new line now again I want to print 1 2 3 4 5 how do you write a is equal to 1 while a less than or equal to 5 print f percentile d comma a so what is printed 1 2 3 4 5 now I need to come to new line correct how do you come to new line print f new line now again i need to print 1 2 3 4, 5 a is equal to 1 while a less than or equal to 5 print f percentile d comma a next what a is equal to a plus 1 print f new line yes 1 2 3 4 5 have you noticed this code only repeated here this code only repeated here correct please observe same piece of code only i wrote three times let us take i want to print one more time now i need to write one more time one two three four five now i want to print one more time so i need to write one more time now see very important point i'm discussing to print one two three four five i need one loop to print one two three four five five times i need five loops whenever a piece of code is repeated we are going for loop but here loop itself is repeated five times right instead of programmer writing loop five times keep that loop inside another loop that concept is called nested loops very important point nested loops for example if you write k is equal to 1 while k less than or equal to 5 k is equal to k plus 1 if you write a printf here that printf is executed how many times five times if you write three printfs three printfs are executed five times if you can substitute this code here this code is also executed how many times five times right that is what the concept of nested loops understand whenever you notice a piece of code is repeated go for a loop whenever we notice loop itself is repeated multiple times then go for a nested loop concept now we are going to discuss nested loop concept but before discussing nested loop concept we will write the syntax okay first is here syntax is very important while condition while condition well one loop present inside another loop is called nested loop this loop is called inner loop this loop is called outer loop this is called outer loop condition this is called inner loop condition this is called end of inner loop this is called end of outer loop this is called out of inner loop this is called out of outer loop totally so many things here there listen carefully inner loop outer loop end of inner loop end of outer loop out of inner loop out of outer loop outer loop condition inner loop condition that is the terminology you need to know but the flow of the program will always come from the top right now i am coming like this condition is true if the condition is true execute 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 condition is true if the condition is true what should i do execute like this where i reached end of the inner loop if i reach end of the inner loop come to the starting of the inner loop condition true again enter end of the inner loop come here now condition false condition false means from here come here 
if inner loop condition is false come out of the inner loop if you reach end of the inner loop come to inner loop condition inner loop condition false come to end of out of the inner loop now i need to execute here like this i reached here whenever i reach end of the outer loop come here condition true execute and this process is repeated false come here whenever i reach end of the outer loop come here if the condition is false come here so always you need to take care of the respective loop if inner loop condition false come out of the inner loop if outer loop condition false come out of the outer loop okay always respective loop end of the inner loop starting of the inner loop end of the outer loop come to starting of the outer loop very important now i'll be explaining this program using this one only right same code only i'm going to write this is very important k is equal to 1 while k is equal to 1 while k less than or equal to 5 k less than or equal to 5 next what a is equal to 1 same code only i'm writing while a less than or equal to 5 this is very important program for me understand printf percentile d comma a a is equal to a plus 1 next what printf new line have you noticed i did not do any changes same code only i wrote next any k is equal to k plus 1 completed one loop present inside another loop is called nested loop one loop present inside another loop is called nested loop now always we are coming from here initially what is the value of k one one less than or equal to five true come inside whenever you come inside what is the first statement we have a is equal to one so what is the value of a one one less than or equal to five true or false true one less than or equal to 5 true or false true enter printf percentile d a what is the value of a 1 a is equal to a plus 1 a value will be how much 2 whenever i reach end of the inner loop what is the value of k 1 a 2 i reached end of the inner loop come to inner loop condition means from here i need to come here now the value of a is 2 2 less than or equal to 5 true print the value of a what is the value of a 2 2 plus 1 3 okay end of the loop come here 3 less than or equal to 5 true print again what 3 3 plus 1 4 end of the loop 4 less than or equal to 5 true print 4 4 plus 1 5 end of the loop come here print what 5 next 5 plus 1 6 end of the loop come here 6 less than or equal to 5 false now control came to new line now k is equal to k plus 1 have you noticed within the inner loop forcibly we made outer loop variable as a constant very important point this is so now only k value is updated to what 2 whenever i reach here what is the current value of k 2 current value of a 6 remember that whenever i reach here you need to come to outer loop condition 2 less than or equal to 5 true now i am coming to the outer loop second time right now assume this is not there now what is the value of a 6 right 6 less than or equal to 5 false so understand whenever you are coming from outer loop to inner loop for the second time from where i need to start from where i need to start that is very important now i reinitialize the value to what again here 1 correct i reinitialize the value to 1 1 less than or equal to 5 true it prints 1 2 3 4 5 then only it reaches 6 6 less than or equal to 5 false have you noticed one important point here see in the case of fibonacci series my output was going in the x axis in the case of multiplication table my output was coming in the y axis but here the output is coming in the x axis the output is coming in the y axis who is taking care of x axis inner loop who is taking care of to come to here outer loop so whenever your output is only x axis or y axis you go for what concept single loop whenever your output is both x axis and y axis then you go for what concept nested loop simple shortcut remember the shortcut very important now k value will be how much control game here k value will be 3 goes on again this is completed next 4 5 next only 6 6 less than or equal to 5 false come out right again i am repeating understand 
if your output is only x axis or y axis go for a single loop if your output is both x axis and y axis then go for nested loops okay now whatever the program i wrote i'll rewrite the program again and we'll try to derive some important conclusions there okay see here first what i wrote here for you k is equal to 1 while k less than or equal to 5 a is equal to 1 while a less than or equal to 5 uh, like, like what i wrote here printf percentile d comma a next what i wrote a is equal to a plus 1 and printf new line later i wrote k is equal to k plus 1 this is the code we wrote right first time what is the value of k 1 what is the value of a 1 2 3 4 5 6 again k value to a value right now try to understand small change we are going to do and you need to find what is the output better after doing the change pause the video and find the output initial of writing 5 here what i am trying to write here is k this small change correct okay previously when there was 5 loop repeated every time 5 times now here loop not repeated every time 5 times loop repeated every time k times but k is a constant or variable variable right might be you guess the output i'll explain how do you trace the output it's here first step k value 1 so what is the value of k 1 1 less than or equal to 5 true come inside a is equal to a plus 1 sorry a is equal to 1 okay next c here 1 less than or equal to 1 true understand k value 1 1 less than or equal to 1 true print what 1 a is equal to a plus 1 a value will be 2 can you please tell where i reached the end of the inner loop if i reach end of the inner loop come to starting of the inner loop now 2 less than or equal to 1 false means as k value is 1 this loop repeated only one time printf control came to new line now currently the k value is 1 1 plus 1 2 okay fine end of the loop come here 2 less than or equal to 5 true now a value is again updated to what 1 now 1 less than or equal to k value 2 so print what 1 a value is again what 2 end of the loop 2 less than or equal to 2 true print what 2 2 plus 1 a value 3 end of the loop 3 less than or equal to k value 2 false come here means here the inner loop repeated how many times two times why k value is 2 understand the loop k uh, inner loop is repeated every time how many times k times but k value is what first time 1 second time 2 third time 3 third time 3 means what happens here 1 2 3 next what will be printed 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 see previously when there was 5 inner loop is repeating every time constant number of times but here uneven number of times first time one time third time three times fifth time five times correct now instead of a what i am interested to write here is k see this loop repeated k times only first time k value is one this loop repeated k times that is the reason what answer you got one now this loop when k value is two repeated how many times two times two times k value will be what two two third time three 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 fourth time four 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 fifth time five 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 you understand right so the shape is the same only but the printing value only changes understand okay for example instead of k if you write here one what happens one is printed one 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 only the thing is important is k right instead of one if you can put some star star is printed that many times right so you need to understand first time this loop repeated one time second time two times two times what you need to do you need to write instead of this if you write a star k okay what is the value of a first time one k also one that is the reason one is printed next time what is the value of a one but k is always two only right that is the reason two is printed next four next three six nine next what is printed four 8 12 16 5 10 uh, 15 20 25 so small change when you do so much big analysis will come correct let me put here a only so when you put a this is the output you got correct now very 
interesting thing I am going to do is let me keep here 5. So what is the output? I started from 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5. Instead of 1, what I am trying to do is I am putting k. Okay, see, first time what is the value of k? 1. Means I need to start from 1 and I need to print up to what? 5. 2, 3, 4, 5. Second time the value of k is what? 2, right? That is the reason I need to start printing from 2 and I need to print up to 5. So what is printed? 3, 4, 5. Next time, 3, 4, 5. Next time, 4, 5. Next time, 5. Previously, do you notice a value was 1, a less than or equal to k. End condition was vari variable in the previous example. That is the reason end value is a variable. But in this example, initial value itself is a variable, final value is a fixed value. That is the reason final value is a fixed here and the starting value is a variable. You really need to know which is variable and which is constant. Correct? For example, I want to print this way. Let us take 1, uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 5, 4, 3, 2, 5, 4, 3, 5, 4, 5. Right? Now, have you noticed I want to print that way? So, I need to start from where? First time 5, second time 5, third time 5. So, I need to start from 5. Okay, I understand. And 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 5, 4. The value is incrementing or decrementing? Decrementing means compulsory. I need to make what changes here? Minus 1. Correct? Now, First time I need to go up to what 1, second time 2, as this is decrement factor, what should I do here? A greater than or equal to K, completed. First time 5, now see here, 5 greater than or equal to K value 1, true. 4, true. 3, true. 1, true. 0, false. So what is printed? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, printed. Now when K value is 2, 2 less than or equal to 5, true. Again, a value is 5, but k value is now 2. I started from 5 and I went up to k by decrementing. Understand? Very important. So, whenever you want to construct this type of loops, small, small changes I need to write. Let us take, I want to print this way. 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. First step you need to know, are we incrementing or decrementing? Correct? Are we incrementing or decrementing? We are decrementing. We are decrementing. So from 5 to 4. So this is not required to change. And first time I need to stop up to 1. Second time 1. Third time 1. Fourth time 1. So what can I write here? 1. Okay. But first time I need to start with 1. Third time with 3. Fourth time with 4. Fifth time with 5. That is the reason instead of 5 what I need to do? K. See here, first time what is the value of K? 1. 1 greater than or equal to 1. Print 1. 0. Next K value will be 2. 2 greater than or equal to 1, 1 greater than or equal to 1, means 2 and 1 printed. Next, k value will be how much? 3. 3 greater than or equal to 1, true, 2, 1 uh, printed, right? Next, k value will be 4, that is how we are going to print the values. So, I hope we are very clear on the concepts, right?